Okay, welcome back to another traditional cigar review and uh, one that you might find interesting because cigars can be pretty expensive and when you get used to smoking ones you really like, of course many of those are pretty expensive, uh, you don't like to go to the cheaper ones just because you're used to such a good quality. So it's nice to find lesser expensive cigars that meet that quality and I think I found one today. And I'm going to share that with you. So before we do, let's uh, do the obligatory watch check. Uh, today, got back on my Seiko Ananta. This is uh, the Spring Drive series, which you can see that second hand just moving effortlessly. No battery, of course, but that's about the only type of uh, movement you'll get is either in a Spring Drive or a battery like that. The boot check, um, I may have shown these before. These are actually boots made in Spain. They're uh, Meslon. I think I'm pronouncing that right, or Meslon. Um, but uh, you can see they did a really nice job with the alligator belly inlay there around uh, the tip too. And then probably um, calf on the other end of it. But uh, really nice boots. I usually wear these with uh, dress pants to work. Get away with that with jeans too. So I put them on today just to kind of show them really comfortable boots. Unusual for me to get a boot that's uh, not made in Texas or Mexico. So let's get over to the Euro Cave here. Open it up. It's a little bit, everything's a little bit messy today. Sorry about that. But... I found a really interesting cigar. Sencio is the name. You see it there, S-E-N-C-I-L-L-O. Of course, the L-L -L is uh, like a Y in Spanish. So most of these are the uh, uh, Donley 2022 limited edition. There is one here that's a Nicaraguan 2022. And you can see that wrapper. That wrapper is just a little bit more red. But what this cigar reminded me of, and for probably good reason, is this one next to it, is Davidoff, uh, limited edition. Uh, it reminded me of several of the different Davidoffs, but especially this one here. You see that wrapper is almost identical. And what I found was that these were made in the Danley factory, Honduras, uh, where some of the Davidoffs are, uh, are rolled. So I wonder if there's some similarity because the cigar certainly uh, tastes like it. So let's talk a little bit about that. I'll get it started. Um, again, this one here in the wrapper. Initially, I thought with that S, it was a Victor Sinclair. And those of you who are familiar with Victor Sinclair know it's not a really great cigar. It's a cheaper cigar, one you find, I think, in like Cigar International or something, and, and I, I didn't really care for it. So initially I was like, oh, that's a Victor Sinclair. I'm not going to grab that. But then the tobacconist said, no, no, these just didn't sell well, so they had them on a, on a bargain price. And um, let's, let's get it out of the wrapper here and take a look at it. And I'll tell you, I was amazed by it, um, the similarities to the Davidoff. And we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. So we're going to get it out of the wrapper. It's in cellophane. And then you can see, I'll see if I can get a better view here in some of the light, but it's just a beautiful... Um, that cap actually looks a little bit looser cut there, but... But the construction on the ones I've smoked on these has been flawless, just perfect. Beautiful wrapper, darkish brown, not a Maduro, uh, certainly, uh, but not a, not a Connecticut either. So it's kind of an in-between and a great, great flavor. I hope this one lives up to it. We'll do a, do a review and we'll talk about a little bit of uh, what, what these Sencios are about. And where you might be able to find one and what the price point is. Okay, so we'll get that camera set up here. I know I, a lot of my videos of late have been on different topics and just kind of on the side on cigars. So I figured I'd get back to just doing a review. P 
purely of the cigar. So, initially, I don't know, sometimes you get a little flavor in there before you cut. Uh, it's got a good, good flavor to it. Not, not, you know, some cigars really stink. This one's, uh, sometimes the stinkier the better, but not, not uh, a pungent smell at all. A really light, light cut there. I just barely cut it. And still, the draw is, is perfect. I think the construction, whoever rolled these, really expert rollers here because um, the caps on these are, are just virtually perfect. Um, looks like a double cap. And, yeah, just great. Um, so, let's get this fired up. I really like this size I should tell you what the size is uh, I think it's a double Robusto is what it is but let's see if that label shows so one of the tobacconists I go to they have a discount rack mostly they get from some of their other stores up around Cleveland that cigars that don't sell as well. <clears throat> so there's the test. Usually if you you torch the bottom pretty well before taking a puff, you get it pretty evenly torched. And if you take three puffs, on the third puff, it should be a perfect draw, perfect amount of smoke. And it was. So, amazing draw on this. Uh, effortless, especially for the size. The uh, taste, you know, is at least medium to strong um, just a really good flavor and again very reminiscent of um, the Davidoff especially that Davidoff limited edition 2022 so there's no size on that wrapper let's take a look here I had it had it up but uh, they still sell them. I see some places are sold out. I don't know. There were some of limited quantities, I think. Um, but just a great uh, cigar. So, in any event, this tobacconist, they, they put these cigars that, that don't sell at other stores in their bargain bin, usually two for ten, so five bucks a stick. But even the retail price on, on this is only $10, $11, somewhere in there. So, so, you know, I got it at half price, but even the $10 or $11, um, honestly, I, I really can't tell the difference between this and that Davidoff Limited Edition. Um, I, I thought it was pretty similar in... in uh, Profile to the Davidoff Escurio, but then when I looked at the wrappers, uh, the Escurio is much darker than this one. So I don't think it's modeled after that. But then the wrapper that it looks most like is a limited edition. So um, I think these Sencillos are just fantastic. And this one continues. Uh, I will say. that I've smoked maybe four or five of these now and every one of them's been excellent um, and and so when when they had these on, in the five dollar bin in the two for ten after I smoked one I thought wow that's really good um, I smoked the second one and I immediately called up the, the shop spoke to my uh, friend there that runs it and, and said, hey, how many of these do you got? And he said, well, I don't know how many, you know, how many won? And I said, well, how many you got? You know, and so he had about 30 of them and I took them all. So, uh, 
just really great, great cigars. So, so the platinum, which is this, um, and I believe this year, gosh, I'm looking there. You have a Grand Toro 56 and a double Robusto. And, um, Probably the double Robusto. I don't think that's a 56. Um, I could measure it, but <laughs> I think I know what I was smoking, but didn't have it on the, the wrapper. So the Sencio is uh, handmade in, in Danley, Honduras. Um, Habano de, de Jamestran tobacco. So um, Jamaican tobacco for the wrapper. That's that's what gives it the, the really nice color. Uh, filler and binder. Uh, Peloto Cubano tobacco added to the filler to balance out. Um, so it says it's uh, entirely uh, grown from tobacco in Honduras. Um, but but that's that that type of tobacco. Is a Palado Cabano and a Jamaican uh, Habano de Jamaican. So it certainly has uh, Cuban seed there, but really um, just outstanding. So the draw continues to be perfect. The flavor intensifies a little bit. Um, it, it's kind of got that char flavor. It talks about it having a spiciness to it, and there is some spice to it, but as you might have heard me say before, I'm not a big fan of the spice. So I don't think it's got a ton of spice, just nice, uh, subtle spice to add to the flavor. Um, just a great, I, I think, a great cigar. Um, now, the Sencillo Black is uh, tobacco from Esteli, Nicaragua. I did smoke that one. I thought it was good. But I didn't think it was great. I think this one's great. Um, again, you know, it, it just, for a while there, I was smoking a lot of um, the Davidoffs. And, you know, this really reminds me of that at about a third of the price at retail. And then the price I got, of course, is even less than that. So, um, so yeah, so interesting. Um, and, and somewhere in here I found where, where it uh, talked about the, um, the Shang Factory. as some of the uh, Davidoffs. Now, now one of, uh, one of the guys, Cigar Jack, was saying that that, uh, that factory in Danley may be the Camacho factory for um, Davidoff. And, and um, maybe they don't make the Davidoff, I don't know. But, but I'll tell you what, it, it really tastes like it. Now I'm looking at some of the prices. Again, compared to a, a Davidoff, it's a great price. Um, so, I don't know. Yeah, so I'm looking to see if there's a, other uh, information about it. I lost where it, yeah, so here, okay, so it says uh, the um, Now that's a Sincere Black. So, in any event, um, this is going to be an hour and a half cigar. I'm not going to hold you up that long. I do appreciate people coming to my channel and just hanging out. I hope you find it relaxing. Sit down and have a cigar with me and, uh, you know, share some information and I uh, appreciate the comments too so anyway uh, I highly recommend it
You can certainly find them online. You might be able to find them if you're a retailer, but uh, Senseo, uh, pick one up if you get a chance. I, I think you'll be really happy you did. Until next time.